River otters, their seemingly boundless energy and playful antics make them one of the most popular animals here at the North Carolina Zoo. Recently, for the first time in our history, the zoo saw the birth of a baby otter. Keeper David Strickler tells us more about the natural history of river otters and the birth of the new youngster. Well, in the wild, river otters can be found anywhere from Florida to Alaska. We've uh, seen them in medium-sized, large rivers. Uh, if you're a kayaker, there's a good chance you'll see them out while you're fishing or boating. River otters in the wild will eat mostly fish. Crayfish is a preferable food item. They will also eat small birds, frogs, toads. And here in the zoo, we give them a mixture of a low fat and a high fat fish, which we rotate every day to give them some variety in their diet. The new baby's mom came from the Florida Aquarium in Tampa, Florida. The dad came from Alligator Adventure in South Carolina. They've both been excellent parents. Right now, we do not have the father with the mother and the pup. Generally, males do well with the pups, but right now we're just not taking any chances. This is our very first otter pup born at the zoo in 40 years. Pup's name's Uwari, after our local river, and she's very important because both parents were born outside of zoos. So her genes are important to continue healthy otter populations in zoos in the future. Their fast, frisky, and agile behavior keeps them away from predators, and it makes them more able to capture their prey. The visitor response to the baby has been great. Lots of oohs and ahs, lots of cleaning the glass two or three times a day because there's a lot of nose prints up against it. She's been really popular. The Baby River Otter is a wonderful addition to the Streamside exhibit and another great reason to visit the zoo. If you'd like to learn more, please check out our website at nczoo.org. I'm Rod Hackney reporting for the Zoo Files, connecting your life to wildlife.